What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today, you know what, we're gonna do another League Code Grind. And I haven't been uploading that many videos lately, mainly because uh, my microphone died and I've been using a really bad microphone, but now I have a new microphone and this one is working pretty decently. And so, we're gonna do another League Code Challenge. This is gonna be called Remove Outer Parentheses. All right, this is gonna be a little bit more complicated, but bear with me. I could, I'll could i explain the solution, but you guys have to try to figure it out first. And then if you understand, the, then if you listen to the solution, you'll be like, oh, this, this solution makes sense. So what is Remove Outer Parentheses? Well, a valid parentheses string is either empty, that means it has nothing in it, or it has a parentheses and whatever value and then write most parentheses right or a plus b where a and b are valid parentheses right plus just means string concatenation okay so for example you could have empty string left and right parentheses you could have uh left left right parentheses right parentheses left parentheses right parentheses right and then here you have uh left parentheses left right left right left right right okay and basically all these parentheses have a thing in common every time we have a left parentheses we always end it with a right so here you have a left and you're gonna have an ending here and then here we have a left here right and then we have a right here right you guys understand and then we have a left parentheses here and we have a right parentheses there so each time we have a left we have a right but then they don't have to be right next to each other as you can see here this left parentheses its right is all the way over here, and this left parentheses, although its right is right, right next to it, the right parentheses, right? Over here, you have a left parentheses here, and its right parentheses is all the way over here, so it doesn't have to be right next to each other. So, a valid parentheses string, S, is primitive if it is not empty, and there does not exist a way to split it into A plus B, where A and B are non-empty valid parentheses string. Okay, so this is just saying that, oh, okay, it is valid you, you could split it into a plus b okay where they're both parentheses uh given a valid parentheses string s cons consider its primitive decompositions s equal p1 plus p2 where p plus k are okay so these are all valid parentheses strings this is just jargon saying that they're all valid parentheses strings okay when guys whenever you read these statements you gotta say you gotta think to yourself how can i simplify this understanding because they're trying to confuse you in these these problems they're mainly trying to confuse you get into your head but you can't let them otherwise you would not do right on these interview questions okay so you can't let that get into your head okay return s after removing the outermost parentheses of every primitive string in the primitive decomposition of s so we have to remove the outer parentheses okay so here given this this string right they're removing this parentheses and this parentheses. So these are the outermost, which should, which is why whatever here is left inside these left, right, left, right is corresponds to this left, right, left, right. You guys see? So this corresponds to that. And this outer parentheses, we're moving these outer parentheses, okay? The ones I'm selecting here, this one and this one. Right, so now they're going to be gone, and we're going to have only these left, this left and this right. And that's why this this left and right corresponds to that, to these, this left and right, okay? So you guys have to understand, we're not just removing these parentheses, okay? We're not just removing whatever. Every time I see a left, I'm going to remove it. Or every time I see a right, I'm going to remove it. Or every time I don't see one, remove it or not. We are removing only the outer parentheses, okay? I'll show you another example right here. Example two, okay? This is a long, long string right here, okay? You, we gotta see what they're removing here. So they're gonna remove this parentheses and this one, okay? Because these, this correspond, these parentheses correspond to these parentheses. It's the inner parentheses. And they removed the outer ones. Then we have this, parentheses and that parentheses and they're removing this and that leaving only these inner this one inner parentheses and that corresponds to this okay then we're going to remove the outer parentheses of this whoops my bad this one and that one uh wait let me see hold up hold up yeah 
this one and that one. So that's going to leave, uh, yeah, this one, that one, that's going to leave these parentheses. And then we're going to remove, yeah, these parentheses, which is this one. But they're only going to remove the outer ones, right? So that's why they leave these parentheses, this one and that one inside, which is, is the reason why the rest are, are left here. The rest are left here, okay? So th this just shows an example that we're only removing the outer parentheses. As you can see here, example three though, we're removing the outer parentheses. So here the reason why we're, it's empty is because they're removing all the outer parentheses. So as you can see here, all these are outer parentheses. So this, this and this are outer parentheses, nothing inside. So that's why it gets removed. This one and this one are outer parentheses. Nothing is inside, so these outer parentheses get removed. That's why it returns an empty string. Okay. Okay, so I hope you, I'm going to give you time, a few minutes to do this yourself, and then I'll come back and you have to think of a solution on how to do this. Okay. There is a way to do this with one pass. Okay. One pass, as in one loop. You could figure it out, and I hope that you do. Okay, I'll give you a few minutes, and you got to figure it out. All right, guys, before I show you the solution, I got to tell you how this is going to work. So given this string, we need to remove these parentheses, the outer ones. This left one, this right, the outer ones of these, so this left and that right. So we're going to remove these parentheses. All right, to do that, I have to have an index to keep track of all the characters I'm going through. So all these values, all these values right here, all these values, I got to keep track. So I'm going to call that I. I is going to go from the start to the end and keep track of whatever I'm looking at. I need to keep track of the, the values of the inner parentheses. I want to add the inner values, right? I don't want the outer, right? But I want to add all the inner. So I'm going to have an index called J. So here, I'm going to have in J is first going to point where I is. Okay? All right. So I'm going to go J, so in this case, I is equal to zero, J is equal to zero in the beginning. Now I'm going to be like, okay, does, does the value at I, whatever I'm looking at, is that a right parentheses? Because if it is, I don't want to add it. If it's a right parentheses, I want to decrease my index of what I'm adding by one. So in this case, let's say I was over here. If this is a right parentheses, I'm going to decrease my index by one. So then I'm not going to add it. I'm going to go to the inside. You get it? And if it's a left parentheses, I'm going to increase my index, whatever I'm adding. And I will add whatever that is, right? And, and that's how you get the inside values. That's how you get the inside values. We're going to keep track of the index like this, okay? All right, guys, so I'm gonna explain to you how to do this now, okay? Well, first I gotta undo this. Okay, so first of all, we need a string that we're returning. So I'm gonna create a string called to return, and this is gonna be the new string that's gonna have, initially it's gonna be empty, but this is gonna be the new string, and initially it's going to have the, It's initially it's gonna be empty, and then we're basically just gonna return the values that are with the outer parentheses removed. That's what this to return is for. And we're gonna return it in the end. Okay, this is just to make sure that we're returning it, okay? Now, we have to go through every value in the string, S. And we have to keep track of that using, um, to keep track of it, we have to go through every value in the string S, and then we're gonna use a simple for loop int i equals zero, that's gonna be our index called i. And then we're gonna go through every every value until we reach the end of s.size, which is the last the last character. Now, we need an index, like I said, j. We're gonna start in, in the beginning at zero. This is gonna keep track of the whatever value we're gonna add. That's what it's gonna do, okay? And basically, if it is, if it's a, uh, basically if, if we reach a, 
right parentheses, we're going to decrease j by 1. And if we reach a left parentheses, we're going to increase j by 1. And we're basically going to add whatever value s at j. Okay? That's what it means. So, how am I going to do this? Okay, so first, if uh, s at i, which is whatever we're looking at, right? If this is a, uh, let's see, if it's a left parentheses, right? We got to check if it's left parentheses. How do we do that? We have to use ASCII because if whenever you go through every every value inside your string, that's a character. So you have to go through by checking the character number or the ASCII. The ASCII is basically a value for whatever character that is assigned. So I'm going to search up ASCII right now, ASCII table. All right. So which one is left parentheses? Left parentheses, let's see, it's right here. Or right parentheses, right parentheses, 41. Okay. So if my value is 41, this is right parentheses. I'll put a comment right here just to say right parentheses. I'm going to decrease J. Okay. Now, if S at I is now a left parentheses, so which one is that? Left parentheses, this is left parentheses, this is left parentheses, that's 40. If it's 40, I'm going to increase J. Now, I'm going to check one thing. If j is greater than 0, or greater than or equal to 0, whatever. If j is greater than or equal to 0, I will add to return whatever character is at i. I hope you understand what I'm doing. Basically, if my index is between the start and the end, I'm going to add whatever character it is, SII. Okay? And the SII is the character I'm currently looking at. This basically just ensures that whatever you're adding, you're, not, you're removing the left parentheses and the right parentheses. Okay? The outer ones. All right, let's run this code. Let's see if it works. Hopefully, if it works, ideally, it should work because that's what. Okay? Ooh, okay, something's not right. This is a good thing about programming is that you sometimes sometimes things don't work out well. Oh, okay. S I J. My bad. Now it should work. Let's see. No. Okay. Let me see. What 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 is the issue that I'm having currently? I gotta think. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So it's actually S at I. And this should, J cannot be zero. Reason being is that if J were to be zero, if J is not zero, right? That if J, okay, if J is zero, then that means that we are basically adding whatever value it is initially, okay? Like the initial, whatever we had before. This ensures that we're not adding whatever value initially that we had before. We're not adding the the outer parentheses basically. Okay, submit it. And it works. Accepted. Hope you guys understand the solution. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later.